Okay, so welcome back. This is uh, part two of the video. In part one of the video, you saw how I found a worksheet on the internet using Busy Teacher, and then I converted that worksheet to be a Google Doc and then to use with Google Classroom. What I'm going to show now is how you can watch your students working on those assignments which you have set in Google Classroom. So we're back here. Um, I've set the assignment. Okay. And now my students are actually on, on, um, online at the moment and they're working on their assignment. So I just click on student work. And here you can see I have four students in my class who I've set the work to. None of them have finished the work. None of them have handed it in yet. But even though they've not handed it in and the work is just assigned, I can still click and see exactly where they are. So let's have a look how that works. Okay, so student A, I can see, has uh, begun the first question. Uh, was, stayed, had, did, went. Yeah, and they're doing pretty well. They've got through the first paragraph and they're onto the second paragraph already. So student, um, student A is doing fine. Let's have a look. Student C, I can see, is um, here. They have change the font and they've done a little bit they've only done two questions so i'm actually leaving a comment for them here and they've made a mistake on that one as well so i can leave a comment as i've done here um just telling the student to check their grammar okay check this grammar so then they'll know that they've made a mistake and they'll hopefully rectify it themselves moving on to student b so student b i can see as well as holiday was great so much she stays. So this student has also made a mistake on the second one. So I can just highlight it. Okay. Okay. And they've made another mistake on this one here. This should be had. So again. So I can give them some uh, feedback as they're doing it. Okay. And there's another mistake. All oh, the students made a lot of mistakes. So what I can then do, I can leave a comment here. Okay, please. I've written a message there for the student. Please check your answers again. Remember to use the past tense. So I've left a message there for the student, and hopefully they'll get that message, and then they'll think a little bit more carefully about what they're doing. Um, let's then have a look at the next student. Last student, student D, was, stayed, had, did, watch. Okay, this student is doing great. They're, they're into the third paragraph already, um, and they haven't made any mistakes. So if the lesson's live, I can also send them a message, or I can also uh, share this on my screen. I can share this using Zoom or Google Meet, and then I can discuss the answers with them as they go through. So like I said, Google Classroom really is a uh, wonderful resource, um, and I particularly like this um, ability for us to set worksheets and also to watch the students as they're doing the worksheets. I hope you found this video useful. Like I said, it's part one and part two. This is part two. If you haven't seen part one, please go back and see it. Um, and if you found this useful video, this video useful, please do subscribe. Thank you for watching.